Today we have another fun video planned. Super excited. We are gonna stay on Disney property at Port Orleans French Quarter. We did a video, I think it was maybe in September or sometime last year of the sister location, Port Orleans Riverside. A lot of people like that video. So as promised in that video, we said that we're gonna come to French Quarter and show you that sometime. Here we are. I was gonna say that time is today. We're gonna go get checked in, show you the lobby, go to our room, do a room tour, and then show you around the resort. Let's go check it out. All right, starting out, we just pulled into this little parking area that said visitor parking. We're gonna head right in through these doors and that's where we will check in. This is where the airport shuttle would pick you up. Thank goodness we live in Florida and don't have to do that anymore. Those were some sad days. Got the music playing. I'm gonna walk right through here. All right, we are heading through this lobby area. Check it out, look at the fountain right here. Closer look at this fountain they have. Just a view of the lobby in here. Now over to the right, we have the shop and the arcade and registration right there. And then if we turn over to the left, we have Boatworks and their food locations, which we'll show you here in a little bit. But got a nice little fountain as you walk in here. We're gonna go this way over to registration and get checked in. We are heading in here. Looks like maybe they'll help us out and get us checked in, but this is what it looks like checking in. Look at the nice mural they have on the back wall. Very cool. Now in the Riverside uh, video, I showed the kind of check-in lobby ceiling and stuff. So I wanted to show that here and we got the map to show where our room is. So. We're gonna go over that right now. Again, just wanted to show another look of the lobby. Those are the two doors we just came in. Over here, Sasagula, Floatworks and Food Factory we'll show you later. Let's have a look at the map. All right, so we are currently right here. They said we could go out these doors right here. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. And take a left and walk all the way down here to seven but we're actually gonna drive. So she said, just go right back out, take a right. And at the second little like exit, pull in there and we'll be there at seven. And we're on floor two, seven, two, one, two. But here's a look at just of everything. They've got the main pool right there. I don't guess they've got any smaller pools at this one since it is a small resort. Yeah, I don't think so. But I know for context, like um, the Riverside Resort is up here. Yeah, in fact, yeah. That's where we stayed. Because you can walk all along this to get there. And then this way on the river is um, Disney Springs. Yeah, which we should be showing you today as well. Look, they added Disney pin trading destinations on the map. Are there any on here? Uh, <laughs> I don't, see, I don't any see any. But hey, that's a start. They at least added it to the map. Yeah. Let's just take a peek out of these doors right here. Since Mardi, whoa, that was loud. Since Mardi Gras just happened, Mardi Gras celebration. And they also had the uh, runners. I think yesterday was the run. There's a couple different ones. I think the 5K was yesterday, 10K is today. Gotcha. And then do we want to go ahead back to the car first or do we want to just go, what do you want to do? do we'll do a lap first. We'll do a lap around and then, um, head to the car and then head to our room. We will show this here in a little bit too, but that's their gift shop. Here is a bigger map, a much bigger map, because it actually shows all of the whole resort. Port Orleans. Oh, I am straight up blocking that. There we go. Let's just go kind of by the pool, then we'll go to our car, drive to the room, do a room tour, and then after the room tour, do a full resort tour. I'm actually gonna look at this angle as well. Look at this. I love that with the palm trees. That's really awesome. And then this way we have the pool. Got a little like kids play place there. And then we have some 
We got a drummer here. Some creatures playing. Got some alligators playing some tunes. There's a there's a pool over there, a spa, so it must be like the hot tub. Oh yeah, they are. Got some more alligators playing some music right here. There's some restrooms up here on the right. On the left, we have Marty Grog's, the pool bar right there. And then pool hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And you can see it's very busy today since it is 90 degrees out, but they have, love the entrance to the pool right here. They've got pretty cool water slide stuff over there. And then plenty of seating out here as well. Now to where we were just at the pool over there. Over here you can see there's five. So seven's going to be probably back that way. But um, we'll head back to the car and actually drive over to our location. So our car can be right there. Over here they have laundry. It's kind of on the back side of the pool. I do love these. And something else that is really cool is the way they do like their little um, street signs. Isn't it? Ground, yeah. Actual, like, Love the theming at this one. Something else we really like is that it is a very small resort. So you're not walking all over the place like we did with Riverside. And this is what we were talking about. Wow, that sun's bright. See all the street signs on the ground here. Pretty cool. There's that way. We turn back this way. That's where the front lobby is. And that's where we're going to go back to don't worry though we will show all inside all of these places might grab a snack and they're kind of like food courtish area like we did with our riverside video um i will say the one downfall though with this location is there is like just the one big pool whereas some larger resorts they'll have some more like smaller private pools throughout the resort i love the building it looks so cool normally they don't have the little ribbons but since it is mardi gras they went a little extra out for that. Now something we remembered this time that we forgot to do last time is bring in our magic bands. We brought those in so she could get them scanned so they'll open our room. We did get a helpful tip on um, the Riverside video that someone said when we were trying to unlock the door with our phone, we had the phone, like the back of the phone up to the door, whereas we were supposed to, I think, turn to where it showed the Mickey face and put that up towards the door, the screen, the screen itself. Screen. So whoever said that, thank you. We might give that a try at this one, but we did have our magic bands on us too. Our fun magic bands, the magic bands we love. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, we have a few videos magic on magic bands, <laughs> right? And uh, might give the phone a try as well. Go this way. You can see, yeah, buildings four, five, six, and seven to the right. Got a bus here. Let the bus go do its thing. We'll go right. And then she said, I believe the second, second one. one, not the first one. You can see that's buildings four and five. Right here, you can see building six and seven, take a right. That's what we will be doing. Riverside straight ahead. Now, it, the issue with the bus transportation is they do go to both resorts. Isn't that correct? Didn't we run into that they one time? Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're heading that way too right yeah. now. Yeah. So that's why we are thankful we have our own car so we can just go whenever we need to. But because it's just Port Orleans Resort. Yeah. Between That's correct. Uh, did she say, it says seven to the left, so I guess I'll follow that, huh? And they've got a nice sign right here, seven. So we'll just pull in somewhere. All right, we just parked. So now we're on the lookout for 7212 on the second story. So it shows there's only three stories. And I'm guessing we're probably out on this outer edge. So when we were choosing a room, we just chose the standard view room. You could choose a, a river view room. You could choose like a pool view room. We just went with the standard one because that's what we did with the Port Orleans Riverside. And um, it's also the cheapest room too. So that's why we did that. As I'm climbing up these stairs though, we do have the Chase Disney card. And something I like about that is you can get basically Disney dollars on purchases. What are we, 7212? Yes, right. Okay, right and then also correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with that card, you can make purchases and stuff and 
we had a quite a bit saved up to have a room. So between that and the annual pass holder rate, you can also have a Florida rate. The room was actually not that bad. I think, let's say it was like 400-ish. And I mean, we just booked it like two days ago. So it wasn't even an advanced booking. And with all of our stuff, I mean, we only paid roughly like 100 bucks. Look at this view of the river. Show 7212, we're gonna be heading this way. Oh, and in fact, I see it right there. So our view right now is just kind of of the parking lot, and that's what you get with a standard view. But since this resort is super small, it's uh, nice because we're really not that far from anything. Are you gonna try the, the door? All right. All right, I don't know if you can see because the reflection, there's the Mickey thing. So we're gonna hold it this way. Oh, I heard it click. Thank you. Yeah. And I just got a notification saying you've arrived. All right, let's have a look at the room. We turned on all the lights. So this is the two queen beds. They also offer a king bed. And then they did do a little Mickey on the bed there, which is really nice. These have been updated since we've stayed in them last. Yes. In fact, I think when we stayed there the first time, they were working on yeah. remodeling some. Because they have this floor and then the under space. Oh, the yeah, floor. that's nice. And they didn't have that last time. There's a little table there. And then just behind Timber there is like the AC unit. And over here, we have fridge, I'm guessing. Yep. Cools to 41 degrees and above. There we go. Got the remote, TV on the wall. Got some plugins there. Of course, the coffee. And then some drawers. Yep. Now, the one thing that I like ri at Riverside that they don't in this room have is that little bed that pulls down that we showed um, showed you laying on. Oh, yeah. A little kid bed. That's always cool. And then a little bench. They did have this at Riverside, but theirs had different... Oh, they still had the Mickey. Yeah, they had the Mickeys like that. And then you've got the curtain... This way, you've got the like other bed. What is that? Thing, huh? Oh yeah, that's that's good. Picture, and then now the bathroom. So a dual sink. Turn the light on in there. Oh, there it goes. A nice big mirror. My head actually fits in the mirror, so that's nice. The safe over here. Yeah. Place to hang your clothes. Extra pillow, blanket. Extra pillow, blanket, ironing board, iron. And then the, oh yeah, that's nice. Cause I think when we stayed here, the bathroom wasn't very updated, but that looks good. Now if we back on out and show you this side. Two queen beds. View of the parking lot. Not bad. Not bad at all. What else they got over here? So the phone, more plugins. All right, the Gideon's Bible. Good. I was checking that. And then that controls the light, that controls the light. I think that controls the fan and that controls the other light. So they're right there by the bed. Did they have one at Riverside? I don't remember if they added, but I don't think in the past when we stayed, they did. Makes it feel good though. Maybe they did. I don't know. I just don't feel like I remember seeing that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's a tour of the standard view, two queen bed room. So there's the little Mickey they did. All right. I'm sure it's just like all their other beds, but yeah, it's good. I think the thing at Disney though, is you're just so tired by the time you get back to the room, they could literally have like cardboard have or cot. rocks or yeah. something that were caught and it would feel good. I love coming to the resorts and just turning them to like the resort page and listening to some of their music and just watching the resorts. All right, we are back outside. We're gonna finish up the tour. We'll also film in the morning and tell you how we slept and then um, see what the mornings are like here but I love this view right here. This is, this is pretty nice. And of course that way, 
will get you to the Riverside Resort. That way will get you to Disney Springs. We will try to get on the boat tonight and ride it to Disney Springs just so you can see what that's like because we did not do that in the Riverside video. But here's just kind of the view of the outside. I think they did a little bit of remodeling on the outside too, didn't they paint it or something? I think they did. I do like all the colors they have on the metal posts and railing. Looks nice. We're just gonna head this way, then probably cut back in up here so that we can see what kind of the inner part of the resort looks like. Looks like they've got like a little green area out there. I wonder if that's where maybe they show the movies at, oh, possibly. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Right back in that little area. Water is so pretty over here. Where at? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some ducks. <laughs> and then up here, it looks like one of the, I guess the boat launch that would take you to either Riverside or to Disney Springs. Look at the giant minion in the window. It's kind of out of place. <laughs> he's like, he's trying to look over and find Universal. You can see up here this sign, the walking path, then the river cruise to Disney Springs and Riverside this way. And then here's just another look at the pool. I love their slide, look at the slide. Here's another look at that slide. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. And then right up here to the left, this little dock is where you would get on a boat to go to either of the two places. Looks like there's a little bit of a line, so I bet it's getting ready to arrive. Also, look at this. Welcome to the Sasagula River Cruise. A scenic cruise to Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside and Disney Springs. Sorry, the sun's pretty bright, but you can see, gives you a little map tour of where it goes. All right, we're gonna head up towards the lobby again and look at the uh, food court area and the shops. And just for reference, here's the pool. So we started the video way up there. We went all the way around to our room. Now we walked this way, and now we're walking on this side of the pool to the front lobby again also look at the sorry the sun is bright a little water area over here oh it just dumped water i missed it this is a very scenic resort though i love all the landscaping looks really awesome here's the playground i showed earlier ages 5 through 12. there's some more of the rooms and then Here's where we'll pick back up with going in some places. So we've got the arcade, we'll go in, we'll hit the gift shop up, then we'll head over here to the all the food locations and go through that as well. Look at that photo though. Like I know it's not a photo, it's a video, but look at that. So the Jackson Square, which is the gift shop, stays open until 11 p.m. But I wanna come down here first to the arcade see what all kind of games they have in here and see their hours. It shows the arcade is 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And see what kind of games they have. Oh yeah, they've got massage chairs back there. So got some racing games, air hockey, basketball, massage chairs, Pac-Man. Hey, ski ball, that's awesome. And then also it goes all the way in here as well. I mean, they'd be, oh, pinball, Guardians of the Galaxy, Speed of Light. I mean, it's not bad at all. There's some souvenir coins. And then that takes us out to here, which they do have a chase machine they also have i think restrooms are back here so if you're in the lobby which is here there's some restrooms over here 
and then some portable chargers. Now we're gonna head this way. Here's the main lobby where we checked in to the Jackson Square gift shop. And if we come in here, oh look, there's the mail. See what they've got. We've been in here a few times and I mean, for the most part, all of the gift shops have like the same standard stuff, but they, yeah, their own like Port Orleans, French Quarter stuff. Um, here are fitting rooms in case you wanna try something on. Here's Disney's 100 area. I always like looking at the pins at the resorts. That's always fun. It's not a very big gift shop though. It's pretty, pretty small. Some designs up top there. And then this is our New Orleans section. Oh, that's nice. Tommy Bahama. It's, what's the price tag? I don't, does that one have a price tag on it? Are they free? Yeah. Look. Look at these. These are nice. That That's $40. Yeah, those feel really nice. Got some Tiana hats. Got these French Quarter shirts you found. <laughs> They do have beignets here that we've tried before. They are good. Oh, there's the scat cats. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And then just some regular 2023 Disney items. See the decorations. They do have a pin boards in here that you could trade on. Um, what else? Oh, I didn't know they had ornament, resort ornaments. I mean, look at the back. Those are really cool, actually. I didn't know that. What are they, $30? Is that what it said? Yeah, right there. Oh. That's new, I feel. I don't think they've I'm, had that before. I've noticed them before. Oh, and then some more. Some more hats. <laughs> Those are cool. Here's their pins. Now, we do already have the Port Orleans pin, but they do have pins. They've got the Riverside one in here, too. There's the 100 back again. Look at that. We've been there. Yeah, we have been there. And this way, they've just got like, if you left any sort of toiletries at home, they've got a little wall for that. They've got some alcohol, some alcohol over there. Um, magic bands, in case you need magic bands. That's pretty much some dolls. I think that's pretty much it for in here. I don't really see anything else. So now we will go kind of back through the lobby and over to the other side. Heading back out to the lobby. If we go, oh, look at the nice little like window area they've got. If we head this way, that'll take us to where we've come several times for some beignets. We might still get some tonight. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, but we've got float works and the Scat Cats Club Cafe. Let's have a look at that menu. This is where you will get the beignets. You can see Mickey-shaped beignets served with choice of one dipping sauce. You can pay extra for, there you go, extra dipping sauce, but we've tried the, oh yeah. We've gotten these before where they're jazzed up with any of those. Um, they were good. Yeah. And it says two, so we've actually gotten two orders before to do like all of them. Yeah. Very good. Uh, here's some drink options. And then the sauces. What was our favorite? I think I like strawberry the best. Strawberry was very good. I don't, I don't need any sauce. I just you can just eat them like they are. Have a look in there. I'm not sure what their hours are. Some checkers here. I'm not seeing any hours. Um, It's like there is a bar back here as well. I'm not seeing any hours for this. But anyway, here, it's very popular right now. A lot of people, there's some beignets right there. You can get it with ice cream or regular beignets just with the powdered sugar. Oh, here we go, okay. Yeah, it might just be all of this is seven to 11. Oh, look at these masks.
then in here, it's like their food court. Love the decorations. I will say this is a smaller resort, so a lot of the like areas are smaller. If we look though, here is a look at some of the items they have at this one. Oh, it's gonna be changing on us, but at least give you an idea. Side, never mind. I had the jambalaya or the... Yeah, that was Riverside. Yeah. But they have some here. It's probably oh, yeah. the same. I would say that's probably the same too, yeah. Mm. Place a mobile order. They have breakfasts from 7 to 11. Pool bars till 9.30. Pool bars till 9.30. Vanilla. Pancakes. Vanilla. What? Let's have a look around at everything. So they've got mobile order pickup right there. Right here they have their like sandwiches and cheeseburgers. Over here they have kind of like the bakery it looks like. Over here the pizza. Then over here some salmon, some jambalaya, Greek salad. And then in the middle, they've got like some drinks and some grab and goes. Over here, ketchup, mustard, mayo, the drink selections. And same thing at all the resorts, you can buy the little, is it $20 resort mug and fill it up the amount that you're staying. There's a mug wash. And then I think over here is just seating there's some restrooms in the far corner some more masks this way i love the theming in here and then that takes us back around to where you can purchase your food so that's a look at the food court area i really think that's the majority of the resort other than just like walking through all of the different buildings which are all mostly the same uh again it's a small resort it's is it the smallest one on disney property i feel like it is well i mean because it's split in two it's yeah actually. true so. french quarter specifically but it is nice because it takes us no time to walk to where we need to get there's a the little path we came down earlier we're gonna walk this way by some of the buildings and get back by the water again. Over here, building three. So if you know that you are staying in building three, that's right over here. Yeah, here's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little courtyard area over here with a fountain. That's peaceful, nice and shaded too. Over there, that's building two. We're just, oh, building one. We're just gonna head over towards the water and kind of walk back that way. So at Riverside, they did have the carriage rides and the path we're on is called, what was it, carriage? Carriage path? Carriage path. And I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like maybe they would have the carriages come down this way too when you are on one, but I have not physically seen a carriage ride at this resort yet. The Sasagula boat that takes you to Disney Springs goes until 10.30 at night. So till 10.30. Oh, hey, yeah, there you go. Good eye. So we'll try to hop on that sometime tonight and take it down to Disney Springs. It's a pretty fun, enjoyable ride, that's for sure. I think the pool is always gonna be like the point of reference. So we're back on the backside of it again with the slide right there. We're just gonna walk back towards like our room. It is very peaceful over here. Like I'm just gonna not say anything and we're just gonna walk. As the person screams in the background. Let's try that again. The further you get away from the pool, the quieter it is. And honestly, a lot of the times that's why I like the standard rooms that are further away mm -hmm. because- They're not really cool people. Right, and it's, very quiet and peaceful over here. See the boat is getting ready to pull pull in down there. And over here you can kind of see it, but they do have a fire going over there now. 
right there in the middle. And we're right back where we started, over by our room. So since we are staying on property, we're obviously gonna go to a park. So that's gonna be a separate video because this video is gonna be long enough the way it is. So I think we'll put a pause to our current video and then once we're done at the park, come back. And then we should be back not super late, so we should be able to hop on the um, little boat and show you what that's like down to Disney Springs. So I think for now, we're just gonna put a pause on the video. When we pick back up, it probably will be dark outside, but at least we got to show everything while it was still daylight. All right, we are back. It is dark outside, but we're gonna try to catch the boat to Disney Springs. We still have what, a couple hours, I think? Two and a half hours before it stops running. Yeah. So we should be good. We are walking at a pretty brisk pace right now because there goes a boat. So if we can get there fast enough, we can actually catch that boat and not have to wait on another one. And then speaking of earlier, we said the carriage rides. I think maybe you just have to purchase them over at Riverside right. and then they take you all along here because we are on carriage road. Carriage so path. carriage path. And this is cool because we actually did get a video of one over at Riverside. So that's really cool. Over here to the right, oh. Aladdin. I'm sorry if it's a shaky, bouncy video. We are walking pretty hardcore, but that's awesome. Current status, there's the pool still open. There's our boat, there's running. With Disney vacations, you find strength in you never knew you have. Look at the light or the eyes lit up. All right, it looks like we're gonna make it. All right, here is us getting on the boat. I wonder which one's actually going to Disney Springs and which one's going to Riverside. I guess the option's only one though. We're only hopping on one because that one's getting ready to take off. Hop on and find a seat. Maybe right here, right here. Here's a look at the boat. 33 adults, five children. That was perfect timing. See, the camera's trying to pick up in the dark as best as it can, but it is a pretty dark ride. All right, we made it down to Disney Springs. We're not gonna film in this video anything to do with Disney Springs, but that was how you take the boat down here. And then we will be taking it back. Now this is what it looks like heading back to the boats. So they've got this like lighted path and then it'll tell you which side goes where. We'll show you up here. All right, this says over here, the yellow flag is Port Orleans Riverside Resort and the uh, purple one's French Quarter. So leaving here, you can catch one at 11.30, but at the resort, the last one leaves the resort at 10.30 coming here. So 10.30 coming here, from here going back 11.30. I didn't see that that side Saratoga. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Will we get on? To, okay, whew, made it on. I'm not gonna really film the ride back because it's just gonna be the same thing. It's just gonna be pretty dark, but I just wanna show you what it looks like getting here and then heading back. All right, and we have made it back. I'm not sure if they stop at French Quarter first or Riverside. I'm guessing Riverside is my guess, but I don't know. We'll find out. Either way, we're we're almost back. Oh. Okay. All right. Sweet. Stop in here first. All right. Back at French Quarter. And one more time showing the 
the pool area. It is officially closed now. So maybe without the people in there, I can do a better, I always hate filming pools, just very awkward. So maybe I can do a better view right here. All right, here we go. Here's the slide. It's a cool slide. All of Disney's pools have really neat theming to them. Looks like the movie's done for the night. That was a really cool setup. They look like there was a pretty decent crowd out there. We are almost back to our little number seven down here at the end. They do have some really nice flowers around here. All right, we are back in the room, so I think that'll do it for tonight. We will pick up in the morning. Video probably won't be long in the morning, just maybe like, I don't really know what we're doing yet, so. I don't know if we'll stop and get food or not. It just depends kind of when we get up and things like that. But at least we can tell you how we slept and then wrap up the video tomorrow. So we'll pick up tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. We're taking our stuff out to our car. It is another beautiful day out. We aren't going to go get any more food this morning because we went to sleep in a little bit. So we are just going to head to the car. I mean, it is a perfect Disney day today. This is awesome. It feels amazing outside. All right, we made it to our car and just wanted to give a rundown of how last night went. So we didn't do anything this morning besides just basically get up and get ready for the day. Um, as far as the shower goes, it was a nice shower. Nothing to complain about there. The beds, they slept just like normal Disney beds. Um, there was one slight issue though with last night. Would you like to sell it or? Well, I, I woke up in the middle of the night because I heard someone, I thought it was somebody just like talking and their voice was carrying and it was echoing, but I didn't want to get up and check, but I heard someone talking. So I turned on the little noise app and it was okay. But and this is like at four, four-ish in, like four in the morning. It was like three in the morning. in the morning. And then the second time we heard, I'm assuming it was like the starting guns for the, um, Disney princess run and I think it was the starting guns for it or flares or whatever it was at five o'clock in the morning we were like what yeah it was definitely loud and so we were like what is going on it's got to be the Disney race but when you're fast asleep and then you wake up and you hear that but we did see the like flares or fireworks and then there were like there was a loudspeaker somebody was talking so that was the only downfall was um that happened I do believe I got a video clip of, yeah. of that so I'm gonna insert that now I don't know if you can hear this, but I think there might be a run event or something because this has been going on all night. It's currently 5 a.m. Fireworks and then like the announcement or something, somebody's talking. So yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of like, oh, we're tired, what happened, what's going on? And then we figured it out. We were able to turn on some louder sound noises and go to sleep. So that was the only downfall. Of course, it doesn't that's happen. Not, I was gonna say, that's not something you'll run into every time. Just maybe look ahead when you're booking to see if there's any sort of bald eagle. Bald eagle. Oh, oh it's hiding. Oh. The trees. There, there it goes, is. right there. A shy bald eagle there just <laughs> flew away when I started filming. Um, but yeah, it's not something that'll happen all the time, but if it does happen, just know going to bed that there could be some loud noises and some like fireworks. Um, also recently Disney announced that they do not charge for parking anymore. And that is true. We got our bill and it shows zero for parking. So that's awesome. I'm really pumped to be about that. 20, yeah, 20, 25, $26, something <laughs> like that, but it's free now. So, um, overall, hope you enjoyed the tour. We enjoy staying at Disney property. It is a perfect 72 degrees right now. Absolutely love the weather. Um, but if you are looking at a small resort to stay at that you don't really want to have to walk everywhere, that has some conveniences like the boat or you still have the buses and you can drive either of those, then come to the Port Orleans French Quarter and give it a try. And remember, you can always walk over or boat over to Riverside too. So if you wanted to check out what Riverside has to offer if you're planning on staying here, but then using some of those amenities. Right. You can look at our video that we did at Riverside. Yeah. And I'll put the video at the end of this video that you can click on and check the, those out if you're trying to compare the two. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.